Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to look into how do we sort a data in R. Uh, so let's dive into it. Uh, so we need to install a package called tidyverse. So you, you use install.packages and then the name of the package. I have already installed it, so I'm not going to install it again. Uh, we are going to load this package in our environment and for that we use library and then the name of the package. So I'm going to press control enter so that we can load this package. <clears throat> now, whenever we uh, we work uh, in R, we have uh, uh, we, we already have certain data sets that come preloaded with uh, with R. Uh, so I'm going to use this empty cars data. It contains uh, mileage, uh, etc. data related to certain cars. So I'm going to use data and then within the data function, I'm going to use the name of the uh, data package that I'm going to uh, to use in my uh, in my video. So we have different cars, their mileage, their um, uh, other other measures, right? Okay, so uh, so let's uh, uh, let's uh, let's uh, narrow down this uh, this data set. So we use select, and in our previous videos we discussed that the select is used uh, to uh, to filter columns to se select certain subset of columns. So instead of having all these columns and not being able to understand. Uh, what is going on with the data? I'm going to reduce the number of columns and just select the gear and the mileage. So for that, we use select. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take empty cars data that I've just uh, got, uh, and then uh, I'm going to select gear and MPG and then save it, that into this example uh, data frame. So we have this example data frame and it just contains two variables, which is gear and mileage. Further, what I'm going to do is uh, take this example data, uh, data frame and uh, uh, for the first to second row, so this is the row and this is the column. So for the first to second row, for the MPG column, I'm going to replace the first two values with NA and NA stands for missing values in uh, in R. And what why I'm going to do this because I just, while we go through this process, I just want to see uh, when we sort the data, what happens to the missing values? I mean, what is the behavior of missing values when, when we sort uh, data? So I just, uh, I didn't nothing, but just the first two values were, uh, were converted into missing values. So NA stands for missing in R. So let's start with it. So we have different ways of sorting data. We have this dplyr, which comes from the tidyverse package. Uh, this again is a subset of package within the tidyverse uh, realm and within this package there is a function called arrange so that is used to sort data and then we have certain base uh, r package and what base r packages or functions are uh, not just pa not packages but rather functions so what base r functions are these are the functions that come preloaded with uh, with r so uh, uh, so, so whenever we refer to base R, that means that the packages that uh, had been installed when we installed the R on our machine. So let's uh, first work with the tidyverse arrange function because this is the simpler one. So we can sort it in uh, data in ascending order. What we do is we write the function name. Then the within the parenthesis, the first parameter is we give it uh, the name of the data that we are going to use. So we are going to use this example data set. And then uh, which column do we want to uh, arrange? I mean, which column do we want to sort based on? Uh, so we are going to sort based on uh, the values of the mileage column. And that will uh, arrange the data or sort the data based on mileage in ascending order. So let's perform this and it would create a new um, a data frame which would be A1 so we can look at A1 and we can see that it had been arranged based on mileage not not based on gears but because you can see these are in random order but based on mileage it had been uh, sorted and we can see that the missing value would come at the end of the data so that is the uh, that is the uh, behavior of missing values when we are going to use arrange so whether we uh, arrange the data in ascending order or descending order, 
uh, the missing value would always end up uh, at the end of the data. So uh, in this way, we, uh, we, we used uh, the uh, data set within the arrange function. But remember, uh, with the tidyverse packages, uh, we can, um, you know, uh, we, we, we can use the example, we can take the example data, uh, we can like, the, we can write the same code in, in, in this way, right? So uh, what we can do is we can take the example data and then we can arrange uh, it on the basis of mileage. So the first argument, which is the data set, had been omitted and uh, this arrange would by default take this example data set as the first argument. So whether you write this code like this or in this way, they both would work the same way. And for, that is the reason I have saved them in different uh, data frames. So what we can do is we can compare them side by side and you would notice that they both are same. So whether you use this code or this, this works exactly the same. So you can either write uh, the data as the first parameter of this arrange function, or you can take the data set and pipe that data into the arrange function. You can also sort data based uh, on descending in descending order. And for that, we just have to use a minus sign or we can use descending function. So that works exactly the same way. So now we have data in descending order. Remember, whether we sort it in ascending or descending, missing value would always be at the end of the data. So that's using the descending function and that's the same thing as using the minus sign, right? Uh, we can also sort based on multiple criteria. So in this case, we are going to sort our data based on gear. And then uh, within each category of gears, uh, we are going to sort on the basis of mileage. So, if, uh, so, so we are using multiple uh, criteria sorts. And you can see that it's sorted based on gear. And then within gear, it's sorted based on uh, mileage. So you can see that from here on the mileage had decreased because this is another category of gears. We can also do uh, one uh, variable in ascending order and the second one in descending order. So the gear would be in ascending order uh, and the mileage would be in descending order, right? So you can see that each gear have a first would have a highest value and then it would decrease uh, from there on. Okay, so instead of arrange, we can use base uh, our sort function. So uh, what uh, how the sort function would work is that we write the sort function and then we would have to specify the name of uh, the column. So if we specify the name of the column, there aren't two parameters that uh, like in arrange we had two parameters we ne we needed to specify the name of the data set and then the the variable but in base r we do not have that uh, what we do is we write the name of the data frame this is the data frame and then we use the dollar sign which represents that within this data frame we are going to look uh, for the the mileage uh, mileage uh, column. But remember this sort function would work uh, as a vector and what it would do is it would take all the values of mpg and uh, save it as a vector rather than sorting that specific data frame. Uh, I mean you can use that but there is another way around for that. Uh, and you can see that these values are sorted based on uh, mileage, right? And remember it would uh, Okay, so uh, we can also do descending, uh, but for that we would have to use the second parameter, which is decreasing is equal to true. And we would get S1, which would be in uh, a vector, which would be in descending order, right? We can also use base R order function, but order function works differently than the sort. It doesn't exactly sort the data, but it, what it does, it is gives us the the exact position of that uh, uh, that value uh, if it had been sorted, right? So, uh, if uh, to, to understand that betterly, what I did is I ordered example MPG. So, uh, 
so remember in example in our example data it isn't uh, sorted based on mileage right uh, so because it isn't sorted based on mileage so uh, we we don't have sorted data right so what happens is that we get different values and these values are different from the the mpg data in the uh, in the example data set remember we do not have 15 over here or we, at least we do not have two or one over here right so uh, what it is giving us is that uh, see uh, what it means is that uh, the lowest uh, you know if if you focus on this one this is the second last value and the second last value is 15 and this what it means is that 15 the second last value is the lowest value it should come first if we had ordered the data based on mileage and the second is 21 uh, so 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 it is giving us the position of uh, the data uh, at which number they should uh, come right uh, okay so if uh, we know that s1 is sorted based on mileage so if we get the order of s1 you would see that they would uh, be uh, in descending order 2930 and so on and so forth uh, and the reason is that uh, uh, this S1 is, we know that S1 is sorted, right? We know that this is how S1 looks like. So, so it gives us the, uh, the, the order of that specific uh, value in, in that specific data frame or vector. Uh, we can take these, uh, this order function and put it in the example data frame uh, so what it would do is it would take the order of the example data set and based on that order it would sort the example file so we, we haven't given the the column parameter so uh, we can we can see that it had been sorted right uh, so this is one of the way to sort base using the base r function if you wanted to sort based on multiple uh, variables then we would use the first variable and um, within this order we would use the second variable so that way it would first sort based on gear and then within gear it would sort based on mileage right uh, we can do reverse order and for that we would use the reverse function so now it would be sorted in reverse order based on the mileage parameter and now in this case they would give us uh, missing values at the top but but what I was referring to when I said that missing value would always come at the end I was referring to the uh, to the arrange function when you use the arrange function uh, if you want to have missing values at the end while using the order function then you can use na last is equal to true and that would mean that have the na values missing values at the end if I use false, then that would mean that we should have missing values at the top. And if I use NA last is equal to NA, that would mean that we need to remove the missing values. So you can see that the missing values, the whole row that contained the missing values had been removed. So we have discussed multiple ways of using, of sorting the data. Uh, so I hope uh, it was useful. Uh, do hit the like button and do subscribe uh, to this channel. Thanks for watching the video.